what's going on everyone so today's video is going to be a little bit different i'm going to be doing rom hacks with a super nintendo and a super everdrive now fortunately i couldn't get the super everdrive x6 due to current events but i got the x5 off of amazon and i'm using the rich the 8-bit do duo uh controller with the dongle as well now this is more of the nintendo version the regular nintendo but you know it does the trick it plays pretty well i don't have any issues other than maybe battery life but i'm also going to be using the pound actually one more thing the pound to use the hdmi port to the tv also be using that to capture the video through the through my computer now just one other thing Obviously, I couldn't get the X6 due to what's going on between Russia and Ukraine. My thoughts are out to Karez, who creates these wonderful products. I hope him and his family are safe. Let's uh, let's just keep praying that this ends, this ends soon. All right, everyone. So let's get into the video. Please first like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and let's get into it. All right, so here we are. The first one we're going to look at is Breath of Fire, War of the Goddess. So this ROM hack, let's see what it says. It's going to be... Okay, they're going to do some changes to the original game. The original game is just Breath of Fire. So let's see what it is. You got the hold to cancel button. You're going to hit B. Okay, so they do some, some optimizations. They double your XP and Zen rewards. The majority of the censorship was removed. That's pretty good. Let's see, they greatly expand on the script. They ensure consistency with terms used in Breath of the Fire 2. So I guess it was some non-consistencies between the games. All right, let's see who worked on this project. Okay, so we have Justin3009 did the hacking and Viva FY93 did the script editing and revision. So that's pretty cool. So let's let's go ahead and check this Super Nintendo ROM hack out. All right, so here we are. Here we, here is the EverDrive Super EverDrive X5. So let's just go over to the ROM hack section and let's just check out what we have. First one's going to be the uh, Breath of Fire War of the Goddess. Now let's start it up. Let's see if it works. All right, looks like it does. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's just go through it real quick. Got a nice little startup. All right. I love these old games. You can't really put your full name in. I'll just put, you know, let's just do Casa Verde, CV. Okay. Fast. I make you go through everything in the item. Equipped. Spell, sure. And you. Okay. There we go. All right, since this one does work on the Super Nintendo, I won't have to actually Try it on the emulator. All right, I need to run with B. I really do like these top-up RPGs. Hmm. 
So far it looks like it runs smooth like the original. I seen anything crazy standing out right now. everybody and see. She moved back. There you go. Well, so far the Super Ever Drive has been pretty good. I've seen some compatibility issues that might have been resolved with the X6, so I can't really speak for the X6. Cool. <laughs> All right, so you know what? From here, might have to go on to the next one. Okay. That's the only problem with doing stuff like this with RPGs is that there's a lot of talking in the beginning. see yeah still talking because with these ROM hacks you really gotta pour hours of time in just to really get the gravity of all the work that they've done you know what I'm gonna stop here and we're gonna go on to the next one you can tell it does work on Super Nintendo if it works on Super Nintendo it's gonna work on emulators I might just have to find the right one but they do work all right, let's go on to the next one. All right, so next up, next ROM hack we have here, it's going to be Final Fantasy VI, Ted Woolsey Uncensored Edition. Now, this is based off of the Final Fantasy III, which, due to the name changes of the original games, some were not released in the U.S., they were only Japan only, so... They just continued on. Later on, they just continued on with the naming franchise. But in the U.S., this was released as Final Fantasy III. In Japan, it was released as Final Fantasy VI. So, let's see what the description says on this one. So, let's see. The goal, the goal was to make a Super Nintendo version uncut and clean. And to clean up the script. Which is pretty actually coincidental that I'm talking about this rom hack here when square enix just released final fantasy 6 the re-pixel edition so this is the free version if you already have the game uh, the other one i think is not too much it's anywhere between 15 and 20 dollars don't quote me on that but this hack was released on february 19th so it's a very fairly recent hack we're talking about a month ago so it's pretty recent now let's see, so they worked on the script. What else did they do? Let's go, let's continue going through. They obviously changed the, as you can tell right here, they changed the title screen, because this was just Final Fantasy III. Okay, they uncensored the graphics, restored character class names, expanded on spell names, renamed monsters and items. Okay, did some bug fixes too. Add-ons will also be options. Okay, that's pretty cool. The music player included with the game has been altered for a compatibility with Ted Wolsey's Uncensored Edition. Pretty cool. Okay, let's scroll down and see. Wow, there's a lot of contributors on this one. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, what, 13 contributors. That's a lot of contributors. Okay, so it looks like the main one, this was released by... Rodimus Primal, <laughs> uh, like I mentioned, February 19th of t this year, 
He did a lot of the work. He's the first two here. There's many other people to go through this whole thing. Now, let's just see if we can see a screenshot real quick. Huh. You can tell they, they did some nice work on it. It's, it's pretty cool. It's so crazy people can do all these things. All right. Let's uh, let's just go into showing it on the Super Nintendo now. Let's see if it works on the EverDrive or if I got to use an emulator to play it. All right. So next up, we're going to have the Final Fantasy VI ROM hack. Let's see if this one runs on the EverDrive and the original Super Nintendo. Okay. Let's see if we go. Okay. This one does run. Good. I love this classic intros. Let it go for a little bit. Let's put the music a little higher. There you go, Final Fantasy VI. Now the original would have said would have been a little bit different. That's cool so far. That's your first hint that the ROM hack has worked. I can't really skip the beginning part, so what I'm going to end up doing I will just put this on double speed, that way we don't waste too much time. Alright, so we're back. Alright, so let's continue onward. Oh, here we go, first, first battle right off the bat. That is cool. Let's finish them off. Here we go. Nice. <laughs> you gotta love that classic victory song. Yeah, so far so good. It's going to be very hard, you know, obviously with ROM hacks, other than the title screen, which clearly gave it away as the ROM hack, it's going to be hard for you to pick up some of the other stuff until you play through it. Throw you right into it. Okay. Let's use. Okay. Vanisher. Try that one out. Use your beam. Alright, here we go. That's it. Nice. <laughs> Way. Oh. Oh, both sides. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Let's use. Okay. Let's use a blizzard beam again. It's one on that wolf. Let's try the fire beam. Let's get everybody out in one shot. All right. So far, this is a pretty cool ROM hack. Especially if you're a big Final Fantasy fan, I, obviously Final Fantasy fans are going to like this. Especially considering that this was Final Fantasy, technically Final Fantasy 3 in the US and it had a lot of censorship. So definitely be cool to play the Japanese version and see what they got to play on that side of the world. So alright, let's, uh, you know let's just go on to the next video now. Alright, so next up is Star Fox 64 style 
HUD. So this changes the, uh, the HUD to the closer to the well, Star Fox 4 layout, adds Star Fox 2 character, mug shots, upgrades the game to use fast ROM, and 21 megahertz Super FX. So let's see, this will be interesting to see if this plays on the EverDrive. Now I've had some compatibility issues that could be the average that I have, or just maybe things work better on the, maybe something like, what's it called, the analog uh, Super Nintendos. So let's just, it would be very cool to check it out. Now let's see what other fixes they made. These are their prior fixes. So they've definitely done some work on it. This one was also released, wow, this was released like two weeks ago. Two, three weeks ago, February 24th. So this is definitely new. And it looks, let's see how it looks. That looks cool. All right, it would definitely be cool to check out. All right, so let's just go straight over to the Super Nintendo now and see if it does run. All right, let's 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 go ahead and move over. All right, so far we're two and two for, uh, for games that will run on the Super Nintendo. Let's go try out this uh, Star Fox 64. Let's see if this one runs. Hmm. All right, this one's kind of giving me a little bit of issues. All right, you know, I think we might have to move this one to, over to the emulator. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, if anybody else knows these, some of these fixes for this, please leave it in the comments. All right, let's, you know what, let's move this over to the emulator. All right, so here we are. Let's load the Star Fox game in the emulator. I'm using the SNEX 9X version 1.6. So let's just give it a go. I'm also using an 8-bit Duo Pro 2 controller. So this is my one I personally use. Okay. Start. Let's try the game itself. Go straight to level three. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Nice. <laughs> Look at this. This reminds me of that old uh, tank game as well. Remember there was an old tank game for the computer. It's pretty much all pixels. Okay. <laughs> cool. You did a good job. I'm so it's like even the original was very good. I'm surprised they were able to make this work the way they did back in the day actually able to get this to run on a Super Nintendo cartridge. It is so cool. A little bit of lag. <laughs> what pixels they are, look at this, it lags up a little bit. Ah, oh, man. Nice, it crashed. <laughs> time and now we're gonna go on to the next ROM hack all right cool, cool, cool. I don't know where I beat Practice, but it's not too bad to get a hold of. Oh, here, let's go this way this time. Ah, oh, cut up. Ah, <laughs> nice kill them all at once. Yo, oh, this game's awesome. This must have looked amazing when it first came out back then. Oh, 
cool. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna move on to the next ROM hack now. All right, last but not least, we have a Super Mario Kart DS. So as you can guess, this one takes some inspiration from the Super Mario Kart DS, the, for the DS. And let's see what else we have, what other more information we have here. But it's all of the Mario Kart DS Nitro tracks, the Nitro Battle Arenas in Super Mario Kart. It also replaces Donkey Kong Jr. with Donkey Kong. Uh, what else do we have? Let's see. It's done by Blue Yoshi. It was released. It was also released, wow, fairly recent too. Like three weeks ago, February 18th, this was released. And it looks like they get all the credit. I don't see anybody else that contributed. All right, so this is pretty cool. I'm interested to check this out. And if this works, please, if everybody likes this, definitely, I'll definitely look at other stuff because it looks like right here they have other hacks as well. So, all right, let's, uh, let's move over to Super Nintendo on this last ROM hack. All right, so here we have Super Mario Kart DS. Let's, let's see if this one works. Let's see if this one runs on the EverDrive. Okay, well, that's promising. Looks like I'm stuck right here at the Blue Yoshi loading screen. Ah, oh, man, this is another one. Yeah, it looks like this one's not running either. You know, let's go back over to the emulator and let's just show you to you guys there. All right, so here we are. We're already loaded it. Let's give it a shot. All right, it loads up, no problem. Okay, so let's just do a quick run. Now I know he said Donkey Kong was. I'm mean, sorry, Donkey Kong Jr. is not Donkey Kong. So let's just uh, give it a shot. Previously tried the Star Cup race and I was horrible. And disclaimer, I am not the best Super Nintendo Mario Kart player. This is gonna be very interesting. Man, I could never get the handles of these controls when I was younger. And I still really can't. <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, okay. Ah. I could have done worse. Oh, no, I'll jinx myself. Oh, yeah, I jinx myself. Damn it. <laughs> oh, these racing games are much harder than they look. Alright. So far, so it's pretty cool. I like it. Other than just me being terrible at these racing games. Other than that, it is pretty cool. This does look a little, definitely looks different than if I remember playing the original, so. It's definitely the first, first race itself. Man, it's a big place. How far back am I? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move on to the next one and hopefully the next one does run on Super Nintendo. Let's see, now we're two for two. All right, let's move on. All right, next up we have Super Boss Collection. This one is a hack of Super Mario World. And there are a lot of Super Mario World hacks. This one has, uh, what is it? let's just go through it real quick. It says, in this hack, the player is able to fight against 77 bosses, including all of the original Super Mario World bosses and bosses from other games and bosses created by other users. That's pretty cool. This was first released... Uh, winter 2022 C3 event at CMW Central. The difficulty, quality, and complexity of each custom boss may vary. Uh, pretty cool. So it pretty much gives you different stuff to, to play. This was released by Green Jerry. And it looks like he gets all the credit here. So good for him. Good on him. It was released February 16th, so not that long ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a totally different boss. It's just all about bosses. What the hell is <laughs> Donkey Kong? Oh, it's pretty cool. It's the hands from, what is that? Uh, Super Smash Brothers. That's awesome. All right, so let's just show it on the Super Nintendo. Let's see if it runs or if I gotta use an emulator. All right, so here we are, we're back. Now we have Super Mario Super Boss Collection. Let's hope this one works on the EverDrive. All right. 
right away. Gives me hope. 77 bosses, 21 new. Oh, cool. You can tell it already works. This is definitely a ROM hack. <laughs> All right, let's just go here. Let's see what we can do. This is the Dragon Quest song, I believe. Okay. I can't move around, so I guess I just have to go to this castle. Okay, as I'm going to Iggy. Choose with the left and right directional buttons to confirm your choice A or B. Okay. You can throw a circle of balls at you. Yep, yep. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I knew it was an urge. Get some of this. They start you off with 99 lives. That's pretty, pretty generous of them. Except for making you do this part over again. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter if I have the flower. Okay, let's try this again. There's the first boss it looks like you go through. There's 77 of them. Oh, right. Nice. I fall right over the edge. <laughs> okay, I'll try one more time before I just move over to the next ROM hack. But it looks pretty cool. Uh, I would like to try different ones. Why did... Oh, I didn't get the stuff. There we go. Okay. this work then clearly what? I don't think I did the same one ah okay so that's my mistake you choose it here let's see uh, crystal core see pokey <laughs> fire pokey uh, wow we have all different types oh uh, look we have Mega Man stuff Starman Let's try something absurd. Kirby. <laughs> Here we go. There's Kirby. Let's see how Kirby goes. What the heck? <laughs> Must be a Kirby boss. Wow. All right. That was interesting. Let's just try a different one. <laughs> okay, so this is where you choose it. You choose it in this section here. Let's try... What is the... Oh, Fire Pokey. <laughs> See what this is. Okay. Let's get this. And let's get Flower. For sure. Ah, okay, there you go. <laughs> Alright. See what else we got. Do one more boss and then we'll move on to another one. Mega Man 5 Star Man. Oh man, this is so too cool. Let's see. Pokemon Jigglypuff. Sure. That sounds funny. <laughs> they have the theme song. It's funny considering the theme song was never in Super, any Super Nintendo game at the time. 
<laughs> oh, there he is. How are you supposed to beat him? Ah, uh, he's flying around. I like to paddle. Ah, he put me to sleep. This <laughs> is hilarious. There you go. Get bouncing on him. <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool. If you just want to fight random bosses, this is definitely a nice game to play. Oh, look at this. They have a lot of bosses. My god. Damn. They have a lot. <laughs> Alright. Let's go on to the next ROM hack now. Hopefully, I think I have maybe one or two more. It might be the last one. But hopefully it works on the Super Nintendo. Let's check it out. Okay, so next up is the new Super Mario World. Now, this one, they take the original Super Mario World for Super Nintendo, and they pretty much put a whole brand new face on it. This is inspired from the new Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo DS. I don't know if any of y'all played this, but this is a pretty cool game as well if you have a DS. And it's holding itself pretty well in value, too, if you have one, you look at yourself. Now, let's see, they've done some improvements. Obviously, the face skin. So, see who did the work on this one. Now, well, let's just, just EL Solade did the hacking graphics level music. This guy did everything, essentially. So, all credit goes to him. He did all our work on this. This was released last March. So, almost a year ago, this was released. So, it'd be cool to check this out and see how it looks. Just a quick look at the screenshots. It looks pretty good. I definitely do get that DS feel on it. All right, let's go over to the Super Nintendo now. Let's see how it looks. All right, so this is the last one. We got this new Super Mario World. Let's check this out real quick. Hopefully it runs on the EverDrive. Let's see. All right, now some do, some don't. So definitely interesting. All right, let's just move over to the emulator then and then we can wrap up the video. All right, here we are. Let's talk about the new Super Mario World. Let's check it out. Right away, this looks like the DS. <laughs> and that's the Super Nintendo one. All right, let's try it out now. This looks like the DS one right away. That's what it looks like. All right, there we go. Alright, let's do... <laughs> yeah, this is... It took a lot of stuff from DS. It's pretty cool, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Move on. There we go. <laughs> this is not like a DS, but it's cool either way. That was really fast. <laughs> Let's try this again. All right, here we go again. <laughs> yeah, I have the stars there. It's pretty cool. He did a good job. I'll give him that. If he takes time to get these things done right. <laughs> and if you're big on these platformers, you'll like this. Let's see what's down there. Alright. Pretty cool. He did a lot of work on this, and it looks it looks really good. Give him that. It's the closest you're gonna get to putting this on a Super Nintendo. 
Um, even though unfortunately it didn't run on the, my Super Nintendo, I had to use a emulator, sorry, just to get it to go. But it's another project would be to see how this runs on a new 3DS. That's something else I want to try out because that sounds like a cool idea to do. Cool. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching and uh, please come back again. Have a good one.